So C is 198.77. So now what's left is we have to calculate B. And to calculate B, we're going to use law of cosine. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and calculate side B. So side B, we're going to use law of cosine. So really what law of cosine is, you're going to take the two sides that you know and the angle opposite of the side that you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for side B. So I can actually write my formula as... B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine angle B. And we already know side A, side C, and angle B, so we just plug these in. So we would get B squared equals... 98.17 squared plus 198.77 squared minus 2 times 98.17, 198.77 cosine of 72 degrees. From here, just put this in the calculator. Make sure you take the square root. And your side B is going to be approximately 192.58. So we can go ahead and go back and label our other tri our initial triangle. So now at this point, we have all three sides. Side A is 98.17 inches. Side B is 192.58 inches. And side C is 198.77 inches. We also know all three angles. The only thing left to do now is to go ahead and calculate the area. I'm going to show both ways here. The, one, the simple one where you have your included angle formula, the one-half AB sine C. And I'm also going to do Heron's formula. All right, so let's go ahead and find the area here. The first formula I want to use is our is our is when, ooh, that's a bad color. Hold on. All right, so the first formula I am going to use is going to be that our area K is one half, little a, little b, side a, side b, sine, capital C. Now, what's important here 